The TAO Sandbox is a tool for building and delivering tactical planning problems for instruction. Here we see a student using a helicopter to monitor several fast attack craft. The user checks that the lead attack craft is within range of the Helos Hellfire missiles. The Sandbox has two major modes of usage, Instructor Mode for authoring tactics problems and Problem Mode for solving them. To build a simple scenario, we select a map or chart and then enter a briefing statement for the problem that outlines the situation, the task, and any relevant intel. Then we place the units. Here, a carrier is placed in the Strait of Gibraltar, and it is given an initial course and speed. Then we choose to add a cruiser. For opposition, we place a Kilo-class submarine, which won't show up in problem mode until sonar systems detect it, and we give it a course and speed. We assign it the behavior of attacking the mission essential unit. Finally, we mark the sub's location with a datum, which will show up in problem mode. Instructor mode can be used for classroom demonstrations when you want everyone to be able to see the undetected hostile and neutral units. Here we demonstrate that turning on the cruiser's active sonar alerts the sub to its presence. The submarine finds the MEU and attacks it with a torpedo. Demonstrations can also be conducted in problem mode. One way to do this is to play back a recording of a session. Instructors can create recorded sessions with textual comments. Here, the instructor points out what's going wrong in this problem. Again, active sonar doesn't work out very well. Students can be assigned authored problems to practice tactics planning. Their solutions are recorded and can be played back later. Here, a learner finds the potentially hostile sub's course and turns the friendlies to the south. When the sub seems to have detected the friendly force, he increases speed while still out of range of the sub's torpedoes. Automated assessment provides the potential for self-study practice sessions with instructional feedback. The sandbox has been instrumented to report measures of performance automatically during training. These reports are sent to the CREST Assessment Application, or CAA, which uses a Bayesian network to compile higher-level assessments of surface warfare tactical knowledge and skills. This is the BaseNet representation of surface warfare topics utilized by the CAA to assess topics in ASW and LCS mine countermeasures. The window on the right here is the CAA monitor, which displays changes in assessments of students as the CAA is making them. The TAO Sandbox sends performance measures to the CAA, which compiles assessments of skills and knowledge, and then informs the configurable CAA monitor of those assessments. Here a student accesses the briefing. The CAA monitor computes small improvements in the uses of intelligence and planning for the opposition elements. Then the student updates the datum estimates to reflect what the briefing says, and that also is reflected in the assessment. Clicking on a measured event node opens an explanation. The user made an appropriate estimate of torpedo range. Next, the student updates the limiting lines estimates to accurately reflect intel. This results in small increases to the use of limiting lines and planning for the opposition. At this point, the BaseNet node that represents utilizing intelligence has improved sufficiently that, CA, that the CAA sends an instructional comment back to the student. The CAA and other supervising components can intervene instructionally in other ways as well. The CAA can also assess elements of the utilization of MCM, search, and sweep resources found on LCS-class ships equipped with the MCM module. NOC TSD is using the TAO Sandbox to develop an extended problem on force protection and related topics in an LCS-MCM scenario. Here we see a user deploying several different types of LCS-MCM resources, including a UAV and an MS-60S helicopter to search for mines in waters of different depths, using appropriate methods. The authors of the scenario gave the student the ability to position resources anywhere. When the student starts the clock, the deployment of these MCM search resources is evaluated. Work continues on instrumenting the sandbox to measure user actions in other warfare areas and contexts, to develop new types of supervisory instructional components, and to develop and refine tactics problems to meet Navy training requirements.